Hello. Right. This is my uh, video rebuttal, I suppose, of the iPhone 4 um, cellular radio problem with the antenna, etc. Okay, so just to show you this is an iPhone 4, this is the problem here. It's the left-hand side where you have the cellular radio antenna wraps around the bottom and what I believe to be the Wi-Fi antenna that runs up the side there. There's a small gap uh, between the two antennas and what you will see on the other side exactly the same thing the antenna comes round and there's a small gap between it and the other antenna which I believe this one's the Bluetooth one and just for completeness I can show you that at the top of the phone exactly the same thing small gap between the two antennas in this case the Bluetooth and, and what I believe to be the wireless okay um, now I actually have this phone on the Vodafone network as you can see there and um, I've got a Vodafone microsim running in it and it's absolutely fine. You can see the signal bars or the signal strength there, uh, five bars of solid signal. Okay, so the test is basically to short out these two with a finger. Now it's quite a warm day um, and I'm actually going to wet my thumb uh, just by taking a nice little lick at it to improve uh, my skin's conductivity. And I'm just going to bridge the gap between these two. And what I want you to do is keep an eye on that uh, signal strength up there. So there you go, there's my thumb firmly over the gap and my other finger over here doing exactly the same thing. So I've, I've completely bridged the gap between the two. Um, I'll try and keep this in focus so I don't want anyone to accuse me of cheating. Um, so there you see the signal strength is still remaining stable. Um, on other videos that have been posted the signal strength drops off remarkably uh, and very very quickly. I've actually sat like this with the, whole, with the phone in my hand for a good five minutes before I gave up because my hands just became too hot and sweaty and very uncomfortable and during all that time the Vodafone signal remained at five bars. Now this is Vodafone UK um, I'm in a reasonable signal strength area as you can see that really is five bars of signal strength because the local Vodafone transmitter is just down the road from me not too far away. Um, I have repeated this test using a three sim in the handset um, from 3UK and again same thing um, their transmitters are in around the area somewhere and again same thing I've not been able to get the signal strength reduced by one jot so there you go two minutes 44 into this video I'm still yakking away trying to keep your interest while we watch that uh, display in the top left corner and it just isn't going to budge I'm sorry people I know there are handsets out there that exhibit this problem um, and I put them down to being in weak to marginal signal areas. Um, particularly, uh, it seems in the UK, O2 people uh, users seem to suffer from it. Um, hardly any surprise there, um, because the O2 network is not particularly strong anywhere that I know of anyway. Um, I actually left the O2 network to come to Vodafone because I couldn't keep a signal for any length of time. Um, with uh, with O2. Certainly couldn't get 3G on my iPhone. Suffered with it for about uh, 18 months and finally had the handset unlocked by Apple uh, via O2. Popped a Vodafone SIM in and I've never looked back. So there you have it people. iPhone 4. My thumb is still on the pad. My little fingers on, my first fingers on the other side bridging those gaps. Um, and it is that bridging of the gaps that's causing the problems. My hands are now becoming quite sweaty because it's a very warm day. We're 3 minutes 52 into the video. And as you can see, the Vodafone signal strength is still locked solid, as is the Wi-Fi, it's still locked solid up at the, uh, the old five bars. So, proof conclusive that this is not a universal problem, uh, and I think what we'll find in time is that this problem will be attributed down to weak signal strength in whichever network uh, you're using and whichever area you're using. I'm not saying that Vodafone doesn't have weak signal areas, but it does. Um, if I was to able to find one and repeat this exercise, I dare say I could get the signal to drop. But certainly where there is a reasonably stable 3G signal, uh, this is not a problem. What can I tell you? Thanks for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed.